It's summer, which means everybody's on vacation, which is also the reason why I'm doing this alone. Also means summer of arcade, the annual marketing push that Microsoft does for their uh, Xbox Live arcade service. One of the highlights this year is a game called From Dust, a um, strategy slash puzzle type game of, from Ubisoft that sort of reminds you know, old school gamers of uh, games like Populous and Lemmings. The basic goal is you have a bunch of tribe people that you have to guide safely through a passage at the end of the level. Uh, on the way you have to build villages for the exit to open up. And life as a tribesman is pretty dangerous. All sorts of obstacles and na natural powers are in the way of getting to both the totems and the exit. Luckily, they have you. You play as the breath, a sort of godlike power that has the ability to shape the terrain pretty much as you want. You can pick up water, you can pick up dirt, you can pick up lava, and drop it down again to build dams, bridges, mountains, all sorts of good stuff. The totems are these places where you have to build villages. Once you build a village at a totem, it will usually grant you a new sort of power, giving you, for example, the ability to evaporate all the water in a level, which is useful if there's a flood coming, or put out every fire in the level, which is useful for obvious reasons, or maybe creating infinite amounts of dirt, which is really useful if you're building dams or walls or bridges, or turning water into sort of gels you can dig tunnels through it, all sorts of good stuff. There's a little story to it. The premise is that these tribes people have sort of lost their contact with nature, lost all their memories. They have no idea how to do anything anymore. So they're on this trek to you know, reconnect with their roots and discover old lost knowledge, and you're helping them with that. On the way, that also means finding lost tablets that give them um, the power of music, which uh, allows them to control, or not control, but defeat water, like whenever a tsunami comes towards um, the village, which happens pretty often. If they know the song, they can sort of protect it, and you watch the tsunami spread around the village, which is a pretty impressive sight, and you have the same sort of ability with fire that gets very important later on. Between all my rambling about the gameplay mechanics, you might be asking, is the game actually fun? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. There's something in the mix between that uh, almost complete freedom in how you choose to approach a level and the elegance of the controls and how you play and manipulate it with the terrain that just makes for a certain special, I won't say magical, but really interesting blend of gameplay that's not really uh, like anything else you've ever seen. The game's a little short. I'm not saying that it's too short or that it's not value for money, but by the end of it, I felt like it could have gone a little bit longer. Also, with all the, the ability to manipulate your terrain in real time, you sort of wish that there was you know, like a free build mode where you could just build whatever you wanted create out of nothing. Um, there is a handful of challenge maps to sort of expand the longevity of sort of series of small challenges that you have to compete in the shortest time possible, but they're really not that interesting. And unless you're really, really hardcore into getting the top spot on the leaderboards, they probably won't provide much fun. Overall, From Dust is a really fun, uh, unique, uh, interesting experience that doesn't really feel like anything else that's out right now. Um, the graphics aren't like exactly Crisis 2 level, but they're the fact that you can manipulate terrain in real time and see islands basically grow out of the water looks really interesting. There's a nice physics system that covers everything in the game that f makes it feel real and sort of behave the, ex the way you expect it to. The sound, the music is a little bland. The, the sound effects are okay. And the, there's some nice voiceovers in some, what I guess is some sort of African language uh, that I don't understand. But luckily, there's subtext that and really add to the mood. Um, if, if, if I'm going to sum it up, I can say it like this. Uh, every night I sat down with From Dust, I ended up going to bed way too late. So if that's not a recommendation, I don't know what is.